Hello, hope you all are doing well. My name is Jeff, and today we will be learning about key features of an ellipse from the equation. So, here are today's objectives. All right. So, the equation of an ellipse is not so different from standard equation, as you can see. The only difference is the a squared uh, and the b squared in the denominators of these two uh, terms, and on the other side, there's no longer an r squared. It has just become 1. All right, so the features of an ellipse, uh, we'll be still finding the center, which is still the same as standard as the standard equation for a circle. It is h, k. And for the new terms, we have a and b. And uh, a represents the horizontal radius, and b represents the vertical radius. And uh, you also have this equation, c squared equals absolute value of a squared minus b squared, where c can help find the foci. And the foci, if you do not already know, is the sum, is, is, is where the sum of the distances from any point on the circle to the two foci is the same. There will be a demonstration on the next slide. And also here is just a picture for you to visualize where all these points will be. All right, so as you saw from the last slide, we use this equation to find C, where C specifically is the length from the center to one of two foci. So that's just from the center to here, here it's the exact same. And it can be either one of these in uh, court coordinate form and basically you can imagine foci as uh, using a string and the string doesn't change length but you can move a pencil along it and you can draw an ellipse uh, using the string and the pencil. These two foci are the only place uh, inside of this ellipse that can uh, draw that ellipse basically. And two more uh, terms you would want to know are vertex and covertex. Basically vertex is two points on either end of the longer diameter, covertex two points on either end of the shorter diameter. Yeah. So here's example one. Feel free to pause the video right now and try it on your own. All right. So here's the solution. So center HK we get 4, negative 2, and uh, we get a is 3 and b is 1. Uh, as you can see, it's a squared on the bottom, b squared on the bottom, so square root of 9, 3 squared of 1 is 1. So now we get our longer diameter is 3, because a represents the horizontal radius. So we'd have to multiply radius by 2, and we'd get longer diameter is 6, and shorter diameter is 2, which is this b value times 2. And so basically, since we know longer di well, yeah, longer diameter is 6, shorter diameter is 2, we get a is, a is 3, b is 1. We can use the center, uh, which is 4, negative 2. We simply go over right and left uh, three spaces, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then we get those two as our vertex because we know this these are on either end of the longer diameter. And uh, we basically follow the same steps for the shorter diameter, and these the two points on the end will be covertex. And uh, in order to find foci, remember we use this equation right here. We plug in a and b, we get this, and finally get square root of 8. And remember, foci is always on the longer ends, well, longer axis, so it would be about here and here. All right. So example two, feel free to pause the video. All right, so this is pretty straightforward. Same as the last question. Uh, we find center, hk, and then we can uh, find a and b from this equation. And this time, as you can see, it's longer up and down. So now you can get your vertex and your covertex. And you can find foci by plugging in a and b. And here's our recap. And thank you, everyone.